Today we learn to create complex animations in After Effects. Boom! Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we are going to take a look at creating this really cool and complex looking animation which is actually pretty simple and easy to create. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's go ahead and create a new composition, which is going to be 1920 into 1080. And I'm going to keep it 30 frames. You can keep it 60 frames as well. And I'm going to change the duration to, let's say, 10 seconds. And let's rename this to our main composition. So I'm just going to rename this to main comp and hit OK. Then I'm going to go and create a new composition and this time I'm going to set the width to 70 pixels. And this is going to be our strip layer. So I'm going to name this strip and hit OK. There we have it. Then let's hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. And this is going to be our strip. So I'm just going to rename this to a 1 and just hit OK. Then go ahead and add a fill to it. So let's go ahead and add a fill and change whatever color that you'd like to go with. I'm going to go with something like this one and hit OK. Really simple and straightforward. Then go to main comp and drag the strip into our main composition like so. Then I'm going to hit S to bring down the scale properties. Unlink the scale properties and set the height to 75%. Then let's go ahead and animate this strip. So to do that, I'm going to go to let's say 20 frames. Hit on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Go to the very beginning of the composition. Set this to 0. Control C to copy it. Go to let's say maybe 1 second and 10 frames and hit Control V to paste it. Yep, that looks pretty lame actually. So maybe I'll just keep it to one second and keep this thing to 15 frames select them hit f9 to ease them and yep go to graph editor and create maybe i'll just drag it in something like that so now we have you can see something like this pretty simple Or maybe I think I'll just hit F9 to ease them again and change the type of animation. Maybe I'll just drag them out like so. Yep, that is what I'm looking for. And yep, that looks pretty good. Better than before. So this is going to be our center strip. You can just turn on the title action safe. And just go right over here and turn on the title action safe. Just so that we know that it's in the center. Maybe we can just align this like so. And then I'm going to hit Control D. Oh, before that, I would like to add some bevel to the strip. Now, it's absolutely up to you guys if you want to add it. If you don't want to add it, it's absolutely fine. But for now, I'm going to just type in bevel edges. So now we get this really nice look to it. Maybe I'll just change the thickness to around 1. That looks pretty weird actually. Point 10. Change light intensity. You just need to play around with this stuff. You know. Somewhere around there. And that looks pretty okay. Then I'm going to make it red. And what we need to do is we need to create a bunch of copies and just duplicate this up. So to do that, I'm just going to select the strip, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Move this 5 frames forward in time. And just drag it like so. And there we go. Ctrl D to duplicate it again. Drag this 5 frames ahead in time. And drag it like so. Hold Shift while dragging it just to be more precise. Just drag over here. That looks perfect. Hit Ctrl D again. Now you can go on and create a bunch of copies. 
as much as you want to you know to make it look more complex just create more and more copies it's all up to you maybe just a bit right over there and I'll create one more drag it right over here so now we have something like this you can see pretty cool pretty simple maybe I'll change the center one to yellow so that we know that it's the center strip now I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm just gonna select all the strips that we just duplicated and hit ctrl D to duplicate them again and drag this below our yellow layer like so then just drag it right over here just like so and I'm gonna do the exact same thing just displace them like so and there we go so now we should have something like this nothing really complex pretty simple and easy all right so our base animation is done now it's not necessary that you you need to go with like a strip shape you can go with any kind of shape and any kind of animation you know it's just a cool idea to play and have fun around with the school stuff you know just keep on experimenting with really different shapes and you can come up with some really nice and complex looking animation so now what we need to do is we are gonna just select them and just pre-compose it by just clicking right over here and just rename this to maybe main strip there we go and then I'm gonna duplicate it by hitting ctrl D displace this by 5 frames and add a hue and saturation just to give it a different color so maybe I'll make it something like blue yep that looks pretty cool you can see let's place it a bit more and create one more copy and make it kind of an orange maybe yep something like that so now we have something like this see really really cool and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-comp it again so just pre-compose it and call this the final strip yeah this is gonna be the final strip alright and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an effect called CC kaleidoscope so I'm just gonna hit control spacebar if you're using FX console script or you can just go into window and go to effect and press oh go to window go to effects and presets and you can just type in right over here CC kaleidoscope and just drag it on to our final strip like so so now you can see right off the bat we get this really really cool animation which looks kind of complex but as you know it's really simple and it's give that you know kind of a pac-man animation kind of a feel to it but I don't want that I can just you know anytime go into this effect and controls and right over here you, you can play around with number of stuff you can play around with the size so you can make it maybe something like that play around with the rotation to make it really really cool and complex you can see maybe something like that you can use it for a logo reveal or you know kind of an intro as well which looks really really cool and it's really simple to create actually so maybe I'll just rotate it a bit more to make it look even more complex maybe something like that see really really cool and you know our base is the strip so you can always go into this and you can do a number of things like for example if I show you guys if I just bring down the scale to let's say maybe 30 percent hit ctrl D maybe align this on the top mm, there we go ctrl D align this to the bottom and we are gonna get a different completely different kind of animation right over here as well you can see 
and right over here as well in the main com. And you can see it looks really complex and you can do some really cool stuff like you can also create a simple logo reveal or intro with this kind of an animations like for example if we just let's say add a text so I'm just gonna add a text let's say I'll type in dope motions just like that maybe just scale this big align it in the center then I'm gonna hit ctrl D to duplicate the background animation and call this matte and add a fill to it and make it white okay something like that bring that composition above our text and change the text track mat to alpha mat so now you can see a text gets revealed with the animation and after the animation end you can add on your logo so maybe right over here I'll go and add a logo a sample logo here I have one so I'm just gonna drag it right over here. Let me scale this down just right over here. Below our animation. So there we have a really quick and easy to create logo reveal. Really simple. You can also go ahead and enhance it a bit. So to do that, we can just add a background, maybe a new solid maybe call this bg for background give it a really nice color maybe something like let's say a purple or maybe a darker blue kind of thing something like that maybe and make it look really nice you can also add a grid to it set this to with slider Maybe bring this down to 12 and bring the border down to 2 and change the blend mode to overlay. Maybe I'll change the color to something a bit lighter one, something like that. So you can see the grid as well. You can see looks really cool. You can see add a little, little bit of you know kind of a cool look to it. Also add a little bit of vignette maybe. So create a new adjustment layer. Bring this on the top. Let's call this win here. So let's type in win and add a curves adjustment. Uh, not a curves adjustment, a curves effect actually. And drag this down like so. Create an ellipse. Just double click on it. Invert the mask. Feather this up up to 700. There we have a really sweet looking vignette. Maybe I'll just bring down the opacity to 50 percent. And there we go, looks really, really cool. So you can see, without the vignette, with the vignette. Looks really cool and interesting effect. So it's really quick and easy to create, kind of a quick tip video, I'll say. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, you can also check out my previous tutorials. I have some really cool ones if you wanna learn, you know. So yep, that's a wrap for today. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care and thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.